So in lesson one of module three, we're going to be making equivalent fractions with the number line, the area model, and also with numbers. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is estimate to mark the points zero and one above the number line and zero, six, one, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, and six, six below it. And then after we do that, we're going to use the squares. So these three squares here to represent fractions equivalent to one six using both arrays and equations. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is mark our zero and our one. We know that all of these fractions are equal to or less than one whole. So we can go ahead and put our one and our zero in. Next, it asks us to mark our fractions. So we know we have six, we're talking about six, and one is equal to six sixth, zero is equal to zero six. So we need to have one six all the way to five six in between. So we're gonna have our midpoint, which is gonna be three, and we're gonna split each one of those halves in the thirds doing that, and this is gonna be one six, two six, three six, which is equivalent to one half, four six, and five six. All right, so now we're going to use the squares below to represent the fraction equal to one six. Let's turn on our vertical line here. To split it into six, we need five lines. That's gonna be one in the middle and two on each side, on each half rather. Same thing here, one in the middle and two on each half. One in the middle, two on each half. All right, so now we need to make fractions that are equivalent to, so now we need to make fractions that are equivalent to one six. So let's shade in our six first thing first. Let's go ahead and shade that in nice and yellow. It's one six, one six, and one six. So we know that one six is equal to one six times two over two. We know that two over two is equal to one, but it's in fraction form. So when we multiply by it, it's not changing the number, it's just giving us an equivalent fraction. So in essence, what we did was we took this whole thing and divided it by half. Now each six has been split in half. We want to do the same thing, but instead of halves, we're going to split each six into thirds. And we will write this fraction as and we will write this fraction as our one six is equal to one six times three thirds, which is equal to one, two, three out of three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. We would count as one, two, three that we have shaded in out of three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we know that one, six is equal to three, 18th. All right, now we did our splitting uh, each six into halves. We did splitting each six into thirds. Now we're just going to go ahead and split each six into fourths. Let's go ahead and use our horizontal tool. Well, now we have Draw a little line of separation here so we don't get our fractions don't run together. We have one six is equal to one six times we split it into 
each one into fourths, so we have four fourths equals four twenty-fourths. All right, so we know that one six is equal to four twenty-fourths. There you have it. That is making sure we covered all points. Let's go ahead and read our directions again. We did estimate and we marked zero and one above the number line. We marked our fractions below the number line. We used the square to represent equivalent fractions as both the array and as the equations beneath. And we are finished. Hope this helped. This is a fourth grade skill that we are going to use to move on as we go through the rest of this module. So hopefully you really understand this. Take the time and watch the video again if you need to. Like and subscribe, comment below, and I'll be sure to reply to your comments. Keep learning.